Didn't see you there. You caught us playing Roll to Make Six. All right, so in order to set up this game, what you need is you need to print out some sort of board game. Or draw thing, one. Or draw one. We printed out this one that we just got online. So it just has all the squares, and we colored in these little bad circles. So if you land on one of these bad circles, you have to go back three spaces. So it just adds some more fun to the game. You're also going to need two little tick marks or whatever you want in order to show where you are in the, in the game. You can use almonds if you want it. You can use candy, whatever you want, just to show your place. And then you also need a dice. So today we're playing to make six. So any number that goes up to make six. However, you can play to make five or um, what you could do in order to make five is you just cover up this six so you can make a little zero and it can just be your zero so you can continuously use this if you want to change up the numbers. All right, Maya's gonna explain how we play. All right, so like she mentioned, we're playing roll to make six, but you can play roll to make whatever number you want. So how we're gonna go is I'm gonna roll and I got a two. Now normally in a board game, you'd move up two. I will not do that, because we are playing Roll to Make Six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move up the amount of number I need, or the amount I need to get up to the number we're playing to. So two and four make six. So I'm gonna roll up four, and I have to say two and four make six. So one, two, three, four, two and four make six. And now Haley's gonna roll. And then I would go, and then whoever make it, makes it to the finish line, first will win. Now, if if someone needs is struggling a little more, you can use these little squares to help them out with um, almonds. We love almonds out here. Um, so if someone needs to figure out with that two, they need to figure out how much it makes to make six. This gives them a visual aid. So you can be like, oh, you have two. How much does it take to get over here? So that'll help them out a little bit visually. So I'm going to roll and then we can Oh, I got three. So to make six, it takes three more. So I'm going to go one, two, three, plus three makes six. Not to be that guy, but I am in the lead. It's fine. I'm not mad All right, about so it. two. Oh. So I'm going to move four because two and four make six. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, my turn. Heck, yeah. All right, I have five. So that means <laughs> one. This is embarrassing. One and five makes six. So I got to go. <laughs> one and five makes six. All right, and then I would go again. I got three. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So three and three makes six. One, two, three. Now you'll notice I just jumped right over the bad blob. If I would have hit that bad blob, we would have gone back three spaces. So I got six. So she goes zero. I go zero spaces. Because <laughs> zero and six makes six. So that's fun. And so this is a really good game to help you practice your counting, practice how what things add together to get to certain numbers. Um, there's many, many different ways you can modify it depending on what your needs are. Um, so we're glad we got to teach this with you. I'm Maya. I'm Haley. And this is Roll to Make Six. See you next time.